Hello listeners and welcome to our English language program Daily Current Affairs Quiz. This is your RJ Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's episode with our very first question. So the first question for today's quiz is Log9 Materials has launched its first lithium ion cell manufacturing facility in which of the following city? The correct answer for the question is B. Bengaluru, Karnataka. Bengaluru based EV battery technology startup Log9 Materials has launched its first lithium ion cell manufacturing facility at its campus in Jakur Bengaluru Log9 Materials claims that it is India's first commercial lithium ion cell manufacturing unit Now let's move forward to question number 2 Competition Commission of India CCI gave its approval for the stake acquisition in climate technologies business of Emerson Electric Company by which of the following company The correct answer for the question is A BCP Emerald Aggregator LP The Competition Commission of India CCI said it has granted its approval for the stake acquisition in climate technologies business of Emerson Electric Company by BCP Emerald Aggregator LP. BCP Emerald Aggregator LP is an affiliate of US based alternative asset manager Blackstone. Now let's move forward to our third question. Which of the following company backed an order to supply unmanned aerial vehicle UAV Nagastra I to Indian Army? The correct answer for the question is B. Solar Industries India Limited. Solar Industries Nagpur said it has backed an order to supply unmanned aerial vehicle UAV Nagastra to Indian Army, beating competitors from Israel and Poland. The company said the Nagastra one having an indigenous content of more than 75% has many world class features. Now let's move forward to question number 4. Which of the following company is planning to set up the first green hydrogen microgrid project in Leh region? The correct answer for the question is D. Unicorps Technologies Limited. Delhi based Green Hydrogen and Solar Developer Unicorps Technologies Limited has announced that it will set up the first green hydrogen microgrid project in Leh region for one of India's major hydropower companies. Now let's move forward to question number 5. Which of the following bank is set to acquire up to a 9.94% stake in insurtech startup Go Digit Life Insurance? The correct answer for the question is D. both a and b access bank and hdfc bank said they would acquire up to a 9.94% stake in insurtech startup go digit life insurance in its regulatory filing hdfc bank said it has executed definitive agreements to invest 69.90 rupees crore in go digit life insurance limited in two tranches now let's move forward to question number 6 Central Bank of which of the following country is planning to launch a gold back digital token to serve as legal tender The correct answer for the question is A Zimbabwe The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe is reportedly looking to launch the purported digital token backed by gold as legal tender in the country to fight against inflation. The new token is expected to be categorized under a stable coin. Now let's move forward to question number 7. Who among the following was elected as the 22nd president of Bangladesh? The correct answer for the question is C. Muhammad Sahabuddin Veteran politician Muhammad Shahabuddin was sworn in as the 22nd president of Bangladesh. He was elected as president unopposed in February this year as a candidate of the ruling Awami League. Now let's move forward to question number 8. Which of the following bank has appointed Shrikant M Bhandiwad as its new chairman? The correct answer for the question is C. Karnataka Vikas Grameen Bank. Shrikant M Bhandiwad has taken charge as the new chairman of Karnataka Vikas Grameen Bank KVGP. Outgoing chairman P Gopikrishna handed over the charge to the new incumbent. Now let's move forward to question number 9. Where will the IPL 2023 final match set to be played? The correct answer for the question is B. Narendra Modi Stadium, Ahmedabad. 
The final of IPL 2023 will be played on 28th May 2023 at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad. As per the information provided by BCCI, qualifier one will be held on May 23rd at the M H Damaram Stadium, followed by the eliminator on May 24th. Now let's move forward to the 10th and last question of today's quiz. On May 24, 2023, which of the following country is set to host the third in-person Quad Summit? The correct answer for the question is D. Australia. The Quad or Quadrilateral Security Dialogue comprises India, the US, Japan, and Australia. The meeting in Sydney on May 24th will be the first time that Australia will be hosting this summit. So with this we have now come to an end of today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Quiz. Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day. Thank you.